caution some viewers may find the following visuals distressing Last Saturday, two stray dogs and ten cats were removed from the premises of the Morito University. Later, their remains were found buried on a plot of land in Huomagama. The guard on duty at the land had this to say. <laughs> There are nine cats buried here and around five or six dogs buried there. An animal rights activist, Iraqi Kodituaku, who was at the site, expressed her views regarding the incident. Our organization has rescued around 2,000 to 3,000 animals, so it is very difficult for us to exhume the remains of the animals. We stated repeatedly that animals are being rounded up and taken away, but never did we imagine that the people in our country can kill animals in such a brutal manner. Vice Chancellor of the Morita University also spoke about the incident. It is sad to hear about what has happened at the Morotoy University premises. We at the Morotoy University have never endorsed the killing of dogs. But the security forces have stated that the Morotoy University premises should be made free of stray dogs because there have been requests from the students and the staff. It was a major problem previously since the number of stray dogs in the university premises increased. Therefore, we have strengthened the boundary fences of the university in order to prevent stray dogs from entering the premises. We have also instructed the security to ensure that the dogs do not stray into the premises through the gates. The number of animals that have been killed stands at 12. This barbaric killing of strays surfaced with an incident where a cat which had littered recently was buried alive. Who gave authorization for such a heinous act to be carried out? I don't know anything about the incident. How would I know? It is not relevant to us. The Vice Chancellor of the University is here. Why don't you ask him? I have been constantly slammed over the killing of dogs. I state with responsibility that I have not authorized the killings of dogs. I will not do so in the future as well. Sri Lanka is a single Buddhist country and it is against the policy of this country to kill dogs. We understand that there is a problem regarding stray dogs and we need to take action to resolve this problem. But I reiterate that killing dogs is not the solution. Although the Ministry of Provincial Council and local government has intervened in the issue, the complete responsibility lies with the provincial councils. The State Veterinary Surgeons Association convened a media briefing today. The rabies eradication program is not conducted by veterinarians. We request that the Veterinary Public Health Service be established. At present, vaccinations for dogs are administered by others. This needs to change and it should be brought under the veterinary service.